Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you are new here, I am Martina Lily and today I have shopped my stash, picked out a full face of makeup that I feel like just needs some love, we haven't shown it some love on the channel for a little while, and we're just gonna do like a get ready with me if you will, I'm getting ready for work so I thought why not. Alright, so if that sounds interesting to you guys, go ahead and do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. Zoomed in, nice and close, 4K, no filters and uh, everything that I use on my face today will be linked in the description box down below for you guys. They are affiliate links though, so if you shop through them, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Now, I do a full face of like shop my stash, however, I do have two products that are brand new that literally just came in the mail and it's the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Oil and the Milk Makeup Cloud Glow Primer, so I am cheating by adding two new products in, but figured you'd be okay with it. So this is the Milk Kush lip oil right here. Uh, I picked it up in uh, Sephora Australia, had 20% off last week, so I picked it up in that sale. This is Dream Machine. And you know I'm a sucker for a lip oil, I had to pick it up. So this is the Doe Foot. It's like the Dior one. So let's see. Hmm. It doesn't have like a fragrance to it or anything, it smells like I guess a bit herby, if you will, which makes sense because it's the Kush lip oil. Oh yeah, it's got hemp seed oil in it. You can just get the smallest hint of that. So we will see. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it right now. It feels nice. We'll see how it goes hydrating the lips. So I'm gonna take my Viseart eye primer today. I've been on a bit of a kick with this lately and I don't have much left. I have to like really squeeze through the tube to get some out. So I'm just gonna do this. I actually think I might repurchase this eye primer because I really do like the tack that it has. I thought it has been a very hot minute since I've played with any of my Pat McGrath Labs palettes or motherships, especially on my channel. I figured I would pull out one of my faves, Divine Rose 1. And I'm gonna do a bit of a halo. I think I'm gonna use mainly this shade and like this one, I think. Cause normally if I use Divine Rose 1, my go-to look FYI is crease, outer corner, over the lip. And that's my go-to look and I love it, but I've done like two looks like that on my channel before. And then my second go-to look is kind of like crease, outer corner, lid with this one. So I figured we'd do a halo eye and use the gold because it's the shade I probably use the least in the palette, even though I do like it. It's just, you know, how it is. So I'm going to take my Delium Tools Angled 765 brush and go into the purple shade, like the matte, to kind of lay down our matte foundation. So I'm just gonna tap on the outer corner here. I ate chocolate again on the weekend. Anytime I eat chocolate, I get a breakout. <laughs> I need to stop, but I can't help myself. I love it. So how are we? It's gonna be a bit of a chatty get ready with me, by the way. So if you're looking for no chats, definitely not the video. I say that now and then I'm probably silent for the rest of the video. <laughs> Anytime I say it's gonna be a quick video, I chat all the time. And then whenever I say it's a chatty one, I'm like, I've got nothing to say. <laughs> but yeah, how are you all? How are we going? I cannot believe it's already March. I also cannot believe that it is nearly Easter. I think cause like Easter's in March and not April this year. It's like throwing me off. It's just, the year's already just going by so quickly. It's blowing my mind. Now I'm just picking up a What's Up 104 and I'm going into the same matte shade just softly and I'll just like use this to kind of blend and then softly connect. You don't have to connect your halo eyes, but if you're around here for a while, you know I like to just slightly to create a bit more of like a faux lid for my hooded eyes. Um, yeah, so I can't believe how quickly this year is going. It's already just crazy, but I hope you're having a good year so far. It's been an interesting year so far, hasn't it? I feel like it's gone so quick that I don't even know if it's been like good or bad yet. <laughs> but here in Australia for Easter, we get a four day long weekend. So I am very excited for that to have four days off in a row. That will be lovely. I'm gonna leave that there for now. And I'm gonna pick up a Refa 14 and I'm gonna go into just a little bit of the brown and do the same steps, but just like a little bit more condensed just to build up some depth. So just tap a little bit on here. I used my uh, zip device this morning on my skin. I've like been so lazy. I literally haven't used it in like I reckon six to eight months because I've been that lazy about my uh, doing it. So I'm like turning over a new leaf this week and I'm going to religiously do my zip again. 
and I already just feel like my skin's looking just like a little bit more glowy and healthy just after one use so I definitely need to stay on top of it, it just makes such a difference the zip to my skin it's like nano current technology if you've never heard of it from Melanie Simon and it's she's it's absolutely brilliant I've actually had it since I reckon I've had the zip for maybe six years five six years and when I use it religiously it is such a game changer like really it's like getting natural Botox for your skin or something I don't know it's such a game changer but you've got to use it like obviously like anything religiously when I say religiously at least three times a week and you'll get like this has no extra color on it by the way um, you'll get results but I've just yeah I just get lazy honestly so I'm turning over a new leaf and we're getting back on the zip train. <laughs> hmm, I like that. All right, naturally intensifies and I'm gonna pop a touch just in the center here. And then taking my Refa 2, I'm gonna go into the gold. Now, hopefully by the time this video is going up, don't quote me to it. I'm really hoping that I've sorted my stuff out. I hope my membership is live. So if it is, check out the description box. <laughs> I have no idea how much, who, what, when, where, because I haven't got that far in, like, as I'm filming this, but this will be up a little bit later, you know? So hopefully by the time this goes up, I have got my act together. I'm just pressing this in the middle, putting the most pigment and concentration of it towards the lash line and then as I go upward I just like use a really soft touch and like fairy dust it so yeah hopefully I have my membership up I'm planning on doing at least one video a fortnight whether or not that's like a pre-recorded video that I edit or a live it'll just depend on time like lives are easy for me especially with the membership because I don't have to edit them I can just go live and you know do that so uh yeah and I was even thinking like with the membership I could go live a lot more on my members just to get more content up where it's like even if it's just a spontaneous life and like no one can attend that's okay but at least it's like content for you guys to like go back and revisit so I might even do that a bit more with the live and then obviously it's going to be heavily driven by feedback from you guys as well around like what you want to see in that so a few of you have said that you want to see like zooms and stuff so we might do member zooms once a quarter or whatever if it is up You'll see it on the screen and it will be in the description box. And if you've joined already and because it's up, thank you so much. You are an absolute MVP. All right, same repertory. I'm going to take a little bit of Astral Solstice here. One of the best shades in the Mothership collection. Gotta have some glitter. Oh, yeah. I just want Pat this year, by the way. We're coming towards July when she releases her Mothership for the year. Uh, I'm just going back into that brown with that Ref 14. And oh my goodness, I just want to see Pat. I want to see a return of this quality of Mothership. I want to see these shades back. I'm nervous that we're not going to get it. I just wonder if these aren't cost effective anymore, even though she keeps putting her prices up. I don't know. But also, um, don't quote me, but I'm fairly certain I saw that Pat's not actually the creative director of Pat McGrath Labs anymore. That could have changed or it could be very wrong. So take it with a grain of salt, but that is what I've seen. And so if that's the case and like, I'm guessing this creative director switch has happened when we've all noticed a change, you know what I'm saying? Then we're probably not gonna get that, but oh, I hope they've been listening to customer feedback because regardless of who the pink color story is, whatever. I mean, I do not want another pink color story from Pat McGrath Labs, but regardless of that, I just want like this quality of a mothership to return because that last mothership was not anything good. I'm sorry. And my personal preference. I'm sorry if that offends you, personal preference. <laughs> Let's do primer now. And we're gonna try this Milk Makeup, what is it called again? Cloud Glow. So it says a weightless cloud-like foam made with turmeric extract for a hydrated, smooth, glowy base before makeup application. And I looked at the ingredients and they looked me friendly. No coconut in it from what I can see. But I was just very intrigued by turmeric in it. Because, you know, turmeric's this superfood. So let's see how this goes. So I did get this for 20% off, but I can't remember how much I paid for it. So the packaging right here. Bit cute, bit milk. I actually really like uh, milk makeup. I think they've got some good products. Oh, it's only a six month expiry. 27 mil, 0.91 fluid ounce. Okay, made in Italy. Interesting. All right, uh, I usually take mine with a brush, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, it is a foam. Look at that. Okay. It has like, I guess a turmeric smell. I don't actually know what turmeric smells like, but it, I think I would say turmeric smell. <laughs> Is what I'm going with and I don't mind it I, don't, I would rather a herby like plant basey type smell than a fragrance like a synthetic fragrance personally but I know some people don't like that definitely hydrating feels very cooling on the skin yeah I would say a bit glowy a little bit went a long way too which is good yeah first initial impressions I'm not mad 
I will keep you informed because I need to test a primer for a couple of weeks before I can really give you, yeah, okay, this makes a difference. Yeah, it doesn't. So stay tuned. I'm going to take some of my green color corrector from Tarte. I accidentally scratched myself with my nails. I keep doing that. <laughs> I don't know why. This is just that Ink Cosmetics brush. I got this brush like five or more years ago from Ulta when I went to the US on a holiday. I just loved it because it had all of the, the bling. It cosmetics have good brushes actually, don't they? Thankfully, it seems like uh, new makeup releases are slowing down a little bit. They went crazy there for a minute. I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown Skin Corrector Stick in Light Bisque for my under eye corrector today. Got so much new makeup in. Obviously, I didn't have to, it was just, I really do only buy the new makeup releases that I'm interested in. Just that same cosmetics brush. I don't buy things that I'm not interested in. Like for example, I didn't buy the new Mario Matte Palette and I did, you know, put up on my community tab. Like if, if enough of you guys do want to see something that I'm not interested in, I will get it because obviously I want to be helpful. It's my channel, that kind of a thing. But I was kind of happy that so many of you were like, no, don't want to see it. Cause it's just, it's not that it's not a pretty palette. I actually just want to put a touch more of that on actually just in here. It's not that that Mario one isn't a pretty palette. It's just that his mattes aren't my all time favorite formula. They're not a bad formula whatsoever. They're just not my all time fave. I would rather like Viseart for example, or like the Danessa Marks Groundwork for example. Like I just don't need more mattes. I've got so many mattes in my collection so I was like it's just not it's not worth it to me you know. A foundation that I haven't pulled out in a hot little minute is the House Labs foundation. I have the shade 110 light neutral. I'm just gonna give it a good shake because it has sat there for a minute. So I'm just gonna pump some out on the back of my hand here and then I'm gonna use my Ray Morris 23 foundation brush and like work that into the skin here. Just a thin layer. I just don't need any more mattes so I was happy to skip that Mario one. So yeah I do only buy the makeup that I'm really interested in but there was just like an onslaught of makeup that I was really interested in trying. I just love trying new formulas and stuff. I think this week Lisa has, like when I'm filming this, Lisa has a new skin tint thingy kind of product coming out. So I'm intrigued by that. I always buy anything Lisa just because she's a queen and I love her and I love her makeup. I believe today or tomorrow actually the Danessa Myricks second groundwork palette comes out, the berry one. And you know how much I love the first groundwork palette. So I am also going to be picking that up, but I think that's about the only makeup releases for a minute that I will be grabbing from my knowledge. What about you guys? Anything interesting? Actually, a lot of you will be like on a no buy right now, right? Those of you in America, cause your Sephora sales coming up. I'm just gonna take my Real Technique sponge. My Juno and Co ones need a wash. <laughs> I'm just gonna smooth that in. Yeah, you guys will be uh, coming up to your Sephora sale on April, right? April 5, I think is Rouge. Also just a tip, like, yes, Blair and I are gonna do a live with our recommendations and stuff and I'll probably do another video with Rex because you guys have asked for that, which is cool. Happy to do it, they're fun videos to film. But also like sign up to the brand's newsletters and stuff, you guys, because they'll wanna try and get your sale directly. I'm just gonna take a little bit more to build up on my problem areas here with the sponge. Like the brands, they'll wanna get your sale directly with their website so that they're not losing any markup or like margin with like say Sephora for example, right? So keep an eye out on the brand's websites because you might find that they have better sales or better deals on their actual direct websites. Like sign up to their newsletters if you want something specific and just see, not everything, but I think you might find the odd kind of brand might just all of a sudden have like 30% off or something. So I always recommend checking out the brands or even like not specifically on the Sephora sale time, but like just throughout the year because I can't shop at Sephora US, right? So a lot of the brands that aren't available in our Sephora Australia or Mecca, I have to like purchase directly with the brands. And so I usually sign up to their newsletters because that's when they tell you if you get like a special discount because you are signed up to their newsletter or, you know, a sale or whatever. I'm gonna take a mixture of House Labs and Hourglass concealers today. So House Labs is 11 light neutral and Hourglass is cotton. And I find these make a good little combination together because I shop usually directly with the brand's website so I sign up to their newsletters and they usually tell you if you get like a VIP discount for signing up to their newsletters like sometimes I'll just sporadically do that um, or like Ray Morris for example they just had 20% off for anyone sign up to their website the other day or they'll just tell you when they've got like generic like KVD Beauty for example they had 30% off I think the other day that came through on a newsletter like for their whole site that kind of a thing so yeah sign up to the newsletters because you can sometimes, my BK109, have more of a discount that way. So, you know, each their own. And you know, you might want the Sephora points and stuff, but yeah, if you can get more than 20%, happy days. Also, if you're not rouge, like, again, you do you, it's your money, but 
I don't know, is it worth it for 15 or 10% off? I don't think 10% off is worth it personally to like, unless you specifically are like, I want this, I know I'm going to buy it and I'm not going to get it on a better discount, then you obviously it's better than nothing. But yeah, I don't know. I just find other places can sometimes have just as much of a sale, if you will. But that's my two little cents. <laughs> Those concealers are so nice together, aren't they? I love it, I love it. Moving on to cream bronzer. I'm gonna take my Say Cream Bronzer in light bronze. I always forget to use this, I really do. I think because it is a bit more of a bronzy shade. Um, this is my Sonia G Sheer Buffer. I don't know, it's just not something, it's not that I don't like it, I just don't, it's not my fave, I guess. It doesn't like stand out in my collection as something that I'm like, yes, I wanna use this, you know? Anyway, so yeah, new releases are slowing down, thank goodness. It does go in waves, doesn't it? <laughs> and I know a lot of you, I feel like, are doing low buys or no buys this year, which I think is amazing. I never put myself on a low buy or a no buy specifically because as soon as I label something like that for me, my brain wants to do the opposite. And I think it's like an ADHD thing too. Like they always say with ADHD people, if you need to like go to sleep at night, say stay awake, stay awake, because your brain will automatically want to do the opposite thing. So yeah, it might be that. I don't know. But anytime I've ever kind of said to myself, all right, you're going on a low buy, you're going on a no buy, I end up buying more makeup than like if I was just like, I'll buy whatever you want. So I don't do that specifically for <laughs> me because it just, it doesn't work. It has the opposite effect. I know, I'm ridiculous. I mean, I always just buy kind of whatever tickles my pickle, I guess, at the time. But you do get up, I think like you can get caught up in like just new review, new review, especially if you start comparing yourself to like other YouTubers and stuff. And that's definitely what I was starting to do. And I was like, okay, you need to take a beat. Like chill, you can't even review this much makeup, okay? You are not Morgan. She is a superhuman woman. <laughs> that is not me, which is okay. To set my under eyes, I'm still taking my make powder because it's my favorite and I will never not use this. This is my Ray Morris Kabuki brush. Well, I'm not gonna do anything. I will still buy makeup releases that interest me, but maybe just a little bit more pickier, like in terms of like, I would have normally just rushed and bought like that makeup by Mario palette. Cause I know that like it's popular and blah, blah, blah. Whereas this time I was like, no, it's okay if I don't review it, you know? And I do want to do more lives. I just need to like organize my schedule and my times. Cause I think maybe the times that might work best for me, like during the week, I'd like to do a live as well um, on one of the days, but I would need to do it like 5 a.m. my time, 5 or 6 a.m. my time, which would be, oh, what time would that be in EST? I don't know, I'll put it on the screen and PST. So I, I don't know, let me know if that kind of would work for you at all, but these are all the ideas I'm thinking. I'm gonna use my Oma Beauty Trip and Smooth Powder for my face. I haven't used this in ages and I quite like this. This is like, for those of you that have, uh, matte uh oily skin sorry so this is my n17 from bk beauty definitely if you have dry skin i don't think this is going to be for you it's quite it's probably almost one of the most mattifying powders it reminds me actually a lot of the skin food powder from star liner if you know what i'm talking about <laughs> I'm probably wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about this. But did I see that Oma Beauty got sold? That's crazy to me. I mean, good for them. They probably sold it. I'm sure they sold it for like a good amount of money or whatever, which is great. I guess you want to build these companies and then potentially sell them. That might be the name of the game. But did I see that they sold? And then I feel like I've seen that maybe their customer service since they've sold is like people haven't been getting their products or something. I don't know where I saw that. Might have been, I don't actually know where I saw that, but I did see someone saying like Oma Beauty, they weren't getting their products and someone was like, they're not ordering from them anymore because that which is just if that's the case it's such a shame like because the brand is really good like they've really got some good products you know and yeah it's a shame it's a shame if that is the case while i'm here i'm going to take my makeup forever one and six powder just with the sponge and i'm just going to spot conceal here because it needs it <laughs> probably as good as it's gonna get so we'll leave it there i'm just gonna quickly go off camera and do my brows and then we'll be right back all right brows are on and honestly i really messed up when i was like doing under here so i smudged this just ignore it let's just pretend that didn't happen <laughs> thanks so much uh victoria beckham eyeliner in the lower waterline and then the victoria satin kajal in fig in the top I got some like my brow pencil here. It's, yeah, just ignore it. <laughs> and then Gucci mascara. I haven't used my Gucci mascara in a hot little minute. 
it was buried under my others. I don't actually think the Gucci mascara is worth the money, if I'm honest. Just comparing it to like the Rabanne and the Lisa Aldridge and like even the GIF mascara. It's nice, but I just don't think like save your money on this one, I think. And I personally would go like the Rabanne or the Lisa one or the GIF or even like Bad Girl Bang. I have forgotten to put shadow on my lower lashes, so I'm not gonna do my lower lash mascara. <laughs> Sigma E36 and I'm just gonna go into the purple matte and a little smoky smoke. You could obviously like vamp this up more if you wish. You could make it a bit softer. You could do a wing, you know, well's your oyster if you were following along. Let me know if you ever follow along by the way. That'd be cool to know. And if you do and you want to, send me a um, pic of the look on Instagram. I'd love to see them. I am slack at the moment on Instagram messages. I'm like four weeks behind, by the way. Uh, it's just a pencil brush, I'm going into the brown. And th my goal this week as well is to get caught up to date with them and like stop being so behind. So I apologize if you're waiting for a response. I'm not ignoring you. I just have been really busy with work. I do work full time still. And I've also had really bad endo pain the last kind of month. I'm just picking up that E36 again and just blending this. So yeah, and I've had a lot of migraines and stuff. So I'm just a bit behind with everything, to be honest with you. What else is new? <laughs> I'm just gonna pop a little bit of lower lash line mascara on and then we'll do bronzer. You guys actually haven't seen this bronzer on my channel yet, just because I've had so much other newer makeup come in, um, but I have been using it for quite a bit and I just, it's an old product. So I figured I could do like include it in a shop my stash. This is the Westman Atelier powder bronzer, the butter bronzer, is it called a butter bronzer? What is it called? Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer uh, in the shade Coupe de Soleil, I think. And I picked this up when I picked up the lipsticks off her website, because I was just like, why not? So I'm gonna take this on a N15 from BK. And I have been using this and I, I really like it. I do like quite a bit of Westman Atelier's makeup i think she really does such a wonderful job i don't love the foundation i haven't tried the skin tint but i just know that i won't like that a skin tint is not really something that i'm gonna love regardless <laughs> i used to like the foundation but the foundation is great if you're someone that just like wants a no makeup makeup type look or a no foundation type look where you just kind of spot conceal almost with the foundation that's just not me you know as you can tell i like to do as many makeup steps as possible <laughs> but um I know some people do like that. Like if you're you're that no makeup kind of vibe, you'll really like the foundation stick. But yeah, it's just not for me. But I like everything else from her. My mum loves the um, super tinted loaded thingy. She's got like all of the shades. Anytime Westman brings out a new shade of like the tinted highlighters or whatever they are, she buys one. She buys whatever the shade is. She just loves them. She's one on, on her eyes, everything. She loves it. <laughs> I do love this bronzer though. Look how natural it is. Isn't that gorgeous? Love. Love. Okay. I wanted to use the Chanel Sublimage Le Concentrate Lumiere highlighter today. If I'm honest, I don't recommend this unless you like chunks of glitter. It definitely has glitter. So I put some on the back of my hand and I like really work it into my sponge. But fair warning, I'm using it because I spent a lot of money on it. Like, I don't know. Can you even see? Does the glitter show on camera there? Probably not. But yeah. I'm using it, I spent a lot of money on it. But it is, it's not worth it. I saw, I think someone said, I saw someone compare this to the Gucci highlighter and say this is the better one. And I have never been so enraged in my life. You know, you know those people that like get mad when you don't like a makeup product that they love and they'll leave you like a hate comment or whatever. It was the first time in my life I ever related to someone doing that. Not that I did that at all, I, I didn't. I was just like, how could you possibly think this Chanel liquid highlighter is better than the beloved Gucci. Again, if you're someone that likes the Chanel more than the Gucci, good for you, like uh, each their own. I'm saying this very loosely, but I was just like, the Gucci one is like pure perfection and it has no glitter in it. But I guess maybe that person likes chunks of glitter on the skin, I don't know. But yes, it's not for me, but I'm gonna use it. You mark my words. <laughs> A highlight, we are gonna take the OAS Aim High highlighter in Brave because it's a wonderful highlight. Absolutely wonderful. I love the LYS stuff and like we never get any new LYS releases here in Australia and it just sucks. Like it sucks because I really think it's such a great brand. 
like there's products in the brand that I really, they don't work for me, but I can see how they would work for others. They just don't personally work for me, but it's just overall such a good brand. I wish we got all the new releases. Blush. Okay, cream blush. Let's take Pat McGrath Labs. What are these called? Divine Blush Sticks in Divine Rose is the shade that I'm going to take. So I just like put some on the back of my hand and then I'm going to take my BKA 507 angle brush and I like work it in and then just lightly. I have so many like impeccable cream blushes in my collection that are like new or just that I've like got over time. Like my whole cream blush collection is like in my personal opinion creme de la creme. And it's so hard choosing a blush nowadays because I'm just like I want to put them all on my face at one time because they're just so good. Like the cream blush game has just... Oh, the game has just been upped, you know? And then for powder blush, I thought I would take the mini My Dream blush bit here, these two shades here, because I don't really use these much. Why not? And I actually really like them. It's just my Smashbox brush and just set that lightly. I do like the um, finish of these, like this little thing right here. And then I'm going to take my Lisa Aldridge setting spray. Pretty happy with how that's turned out, not going to lie. For lips, I'm going to take Vive Bark in the lip liner. And I just uh, colored in the corners a slight bit. And then I'm going to take Hermes Beige Kalahari for the rest. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Perfect. And then I'm just going to take the Ice Victoria Beckham Clear Gloss. Alright, I'm going to go do my hair and stuff and we will zoom out and wrap this up. Alright my friends, finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I think it all came together really nicely. I really, really do. I'm very happy. Personally very happy. What do you guys think? That is my full face of kind of shot my stash. I hope you enjoyed it. Just some good old fashioned makeup fun. You know if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate you. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.